So what's the difference between a normal structure and a bridge? Well, they both are subjected to the same sort of load. A normal structure, you'll have a foundation that is underneath the structure. However, on a bridge, your foundation is normally at the ends, but not where the load is. So, what does that mean? Well, in a normal structure, you'll have the load pressing down and the ground pressing up, and what you'll have is what's called compression. And so to counteract this compression, you'll need something like a column to deal with that load. And what will happen is you'll have this column being crunched and the idea is that this column could potentially crumble uh, from the weight of the load. A bridge, however, you have two forces happening. At the top, we do have compression. As the bridge wants to fold in, the top of the bridge is going to experience compression. And the bottom of the bridge is going to experience tension. Tension is the opposite of compression. If compression is a push, tension is a pull. So, if you want to build a column for compression, you would want to build the top of the bridge like a column to counteract the compression. And tension, well, we have to build something that would be the tension equivalent to a column for the bottom of the bridge. And we would want to connect these two in a way that they are locked together. And so the difference between a structure and a bridge is that a structure normally only undergoes compression, where a bridge has to undergo both compression and tension, and we need to lock this together into one single structure. So that's the difference between a normal structure and a bridge. In our next video, we'll start sketching different types of bridges.